All right, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the last episode, I was out by the outpost. Um, in the meantime, I've come back. Uh, I created another dump chest over further to the left. I have restocked on rockets and on uh, grenades and red ammo a little bit. So I'm okay there. I want to go check the blue circuits, see if things are are good to go there because last episode's progress was just fairly pathetic given the state of our shields and power generation individual power generation so let's hopefully they're done yay they're done that is an awesome sight that's 250 blues that will allow me to get the portable fusion reactor going I need to grab some steel, it looks like, to get some more energy shield mark twos. And that will greatly help. Just soak it up for a bit. I'm way too far away from our dump chest for steel, which is at the beginning of the line. Let's get one of those going. Let's get... Let's take everything out of here in preparation for... for the fusion reactor. It's a, it takes up 4x4, four four, so it's a decent chunk. And when it's a 7x7, seven seven, there's nothing that can go in these spaces other than these vertical ones. And solar panels, there's, you know, they're the only, those six with this belt immunity, the only things that are one by one, so those won't be able to be used no matter what. So we're essentially down to a 6x6. Six all right, and so that's 36, and then now we're down to 20 spots because this one takes up 16, but, you know, it does much better. 750 kilowatts compared to 180 total out of this. Yeah. So, um, now let's stick in our energy shield. I guess the uh, second one's being made. Yes, I already hit that button. Excuse me. Apologize about that. Um, second one's being made. I can't afford the space of the legs, so I have to go slower. And I think I, I, I'm going to abandon the night vision for now. We'll just have to uh, suffer with it when it comes night. Um, but I do want to grab two PLDs. So that's 750 kilowatts plus another... 180 so we're up to 930 there oh, really belt immunity consumes 100 that's only when you're using it so and then these guys you know, have decent storage they're 100 megajoules each so they're worth the same as five of the other batteries so and much more space compact so we got Two of those, like seeing them together. Two energy shields. Let's make a third one if we could. What do we need there? Copper. Okay. Uh, why do we? Can I just get the intermediate products? Red circuits. Okay. I need fifty of those. I have that. Um, I have the steel. I need LDSs, okay. Just grab some LDSs. Use the ones in my inventory. There we go. But it would count if you're in the trash, so. There we go. That way we only have to make the basic energy shield and then the better energy shield. Basic energy shield only takes 240 kilowatts. Sorry, my course I was covering this dialogue box the mark 2 energy shield only takes 360 kilowatts only takes 50% more power to run the mark 2s and they hold three times as many hit points all right so let's go over there uh, once that's done that will fill up everything here with what I would like we're just gonna have to go without the night vision 
I'll try to keep it a bit more zoomed in when it's at night. So that way the lights show up better. But we should be able to really get at it and make much better progress now. Let's look at our tech tree too. I'm not ready for silo. We can pause that for a bit. I would really like to get stronger explosives. I, we're not using personal robo parts yet anyway. So projectile damage six would be good. Rapid shooting speed th uh, five would be good. This will help. Those don't help rockets, but um, stronger explosives should t help the rockets. Rocket plus 40. Yeah, that's why I'm not getting the, the damage that I wanted out of those rockets yet. yet. I st still have a lot of those to go. You just need four to get done, so we'll get going on that. Shooting speed, we can drop that temporarily. In fact, I'm going to move projectile damage to after the explosives get better. Five and... Let's do six as well. Then we'll get to back to regular bullets. And then faster bullets. And then... Shooting speed 6 would be then available. Okay. What do you guys need? You guys need military 4. Okay. Alright. So at least those will get better with enough time. But they are short on one of these colors. One, two, three, four, five. Yellow is the only one that's holding us back right now. I believe yellow requires blue circuits. That might be why. No. Yeah, blue circuits. Blue circuits are the holdup right now. Robot frames and LDSs are not. So let's go out there and see what we can do. What damage we can do. Here. All right, 57% 57 on our battery. These guys have a long ways to unload, so we can just grab some coal, which I don't currently have, and get out there a lot quicker now. So I didn't have a fuel source last time because I didn't want to chop down trees. Fill it up. And we have our own personal speed wagon. Might not be an Ario speed wagon, but it's a speed wagon. Band reference for those of you not getting it. Ario speed wagon. Great band. Okay then. Let's see how much alien booty we can we can wreak havoc on. Destroy them. So we can finally get some copper. I'll have to create another train line too, but that's okay. I've got I got the rails on me. I've, and the signals. I've been carrying that stuff around for a long time. I still have a train stop. Oh well. And I've got the engine. I've got cargo wagons. Or I got the engines. I do not have the cargo wagons. Oh well. <laughs> First thing is finding copper. If we don't, you know, how far west do we have to go before we give up on that and try the east? You know, it's like, yeah. Let's see what we can do. See, my personal laser defense is already going off. My shields aren't getting hurt as much anymore. I mean, feel free to stay out here and not have to go running the safety of the turrets. Yeah, they're just... PLDs are doing a great job of killing them. 
me more opportunity to get out here, get these worms taken care of. Oops, I did not mean to use that. I meant to click the mouse button so I can throw a grenade. These are big worms here. My shield is almost depleted. I'll run away for a little bit so I can come back. So getting this research done is really vital right now. Medium worm shouldn't take nearly as many rockets. doing a great job with these little guys. Thank you. It stopped me from shooting multiple rockets there because I knew that the first one was going to kill it. You guys don't take much. There you go. We are making much faster progress this time. I angered a bunch of them this time, so I'm going to have to retreat as I run. There we go. I like it. See, we haven't even had to go back to the turrets completely yet. We've attempted it. I thought we killed them before we get back there. Switch back over to rockets. There's that big one, a easier PLDs to get the little ones. We need to go see if there is available laser damage upgrades too because I assume that will affect PLDs let's get out of this bit um, energy weapons damage laser turret damage and I'm assuming PLDs can as laser turret and But having to do that, and having to, I just can't get the damage that I'm wanting while keeping the night vision up. I wish they would make night vision as a one by one space instead of a two by two. Just make it easier to see. I mean, I, I like the fact that they have a day night cycle in this game, it's not just constantly day or something like that. That's gone, finally. And they're gone. The mediums and the smalls are fairly easy to dispatch with this 
BLD. Oops, come on, get away from there. The bigger ones are still a problem. In other worlds, I have where I'm further along and things like that, and I have the Mark II and power armor and all that stuff. Bigs aren't a problem anymore. Once you get enough upgrades and things like that, it's the behemoths that you have to run away from. I'm at the point where I've started um, just giving up on that stuff and just going doing an atomic bomb, which I've not <laughs> not yet used, but I've seen other people use it, and it just wipes out a massive area. It kills everything on site. It's It's absolutely costly to use, but it's you know does a great job of wiping out your enemies. You know, too many of these guys, I'll retreat all the way. Okay, we are making progress. We just need to be able to get through on one, either the north or the south side. It doesn't really matter where, so we can go exploring again, find the copper. Hopefully it's somewhere nearby. Hopefully we're not doing all this just in vain. Right now I can't even get through before I get swarmed with enemies. There we go, another two spawners. Nope, not, not down. Need another rocket or two. I guess in this case I'm choosing to go south, just to get through everybody. That's a lot of worms coming up. Great. I can't stay still, and they'll all spit in the same spot if they know I'm stationary. I think the worms uh, max distance is greater than the one for the rocket. You can, the red ring around the targets will turn to green if I'm close enough, of course. And health at 100, 157 grenades, 123 rockets. See, it's still red around that base that now I'm in range, but I'm also in range of their spit. Especially, spawners are more damaging, in my opinion, than the worms. Spawners create the big guys, which make me have to retreat. Discharge. Oh, up north sending me some stuff. Apparently our communications network does not work on an audible frequency that we can hear. Poison way too long there. Treat for a little bit, and let the shields recover. You can see my battery's 99%, even though we've been charging a bunch. Better for having three of those Mark II batteries. And I 
definitely cannot see. <laughs> Apologize about that. Zoom in a bit more. Spitters lining up at once trying to hit me. Not really succeeding too much. There we go. Health is good. Still 90 rockets. Way too many worms. Goodbye. Biter before he kills me. Fish up. forever on him. Spawner gone. Worm. Two worms gone. Nice. And health is good. Mm -hmm. Guess he chose to no longer be living by attacking me. grenade. It's left thumb versus right index finger. Since uh, rockets are sent with the space bar, I'm using my left hand to do that. And I'm right handed, so right hand's always on the mouse. He's going at me quick. I gotta run. Don't have to run anymore. We're good. Right, get by these guys easily. There we go. A few more launch, down to 40 rockets. Three big guys after me, gotta worry about that first. Alright, little guys are no problem. And we're gone. Good news is we haven't had to use the safety of the turrets in a long time. We're a long ways from there right now, anyway. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay. Let's just check the time. We're doing great on this episode. Get a lot more stuff done before we have to call it quits. Alright. Some good progress on this push. Oh, got it. Really, because of the big guy there. Three big guys coming at me. There's only one, so I'll just come even closer to the next target. As I'm killing him. Alright, we got through that wall of stuff. I just will avoid going north and I won't anger the guys up there. There's a Tiny, tiny coal patch, huh? Yeah, it is. You can get what, maybe six miners on there? That is 1.2 million. We got 3.5 million iron, but I think we got even bigger there. Yeah, that's, that's 12 of them we took. Stone, a million there, but no copper. We finally got to a spot where we can you know, sit there and analyze what was going on. Let's get up to the middle because we're not going to anger that nest anymore. 
and find ourselves some copper. They're making us go a long ways just to find our next source of copper. All right, let's just avoid that nest since we can go up north. Go up north, they don't get angered too much if you stay away from their detection zone. And we can't because of the lake. Great. Okay. All right, back to the grindstone. And killing everybody. Did have like six landfill on me for some reason. <laughs> Won't be enough to get across. That's a thought. <laughs> we find a really, really tall and thin lake. We can just use landfill to get across it. Right. Just get by everybody. Don't bother killing the whole nest. Just these guys that want to chase after me. Hey, we found copper. We found copper. And it's a big patch, too. How much is in it? 10 million. Excellent. Woohoo! We found copper. But I have to clear out this whole nest in order to get all my. All my uh, miners in there and stuff without being harassed. Right, grab the grenades. Oops. Get off my butt. There we go. Thank you. Take guys off me so I can go send some rockets in. Grenades, though. I'm out of grenades. Alright, PLDs are gonna have to do it. Switch over to standard weapons. Spawner. I had to run. See the value of grenades as I'm along here. guys okay so we identified the spot we need a, a whole reload of rockets and let no no we just okay just didn't resupply me from my stash okay so I got plenty of rockets the problem is grenades make 12 okay thanks and I won't have coal to get back. Oh well. There. I got 11 <laughs> grenades and enough coal to get back. Um, do I want to attempt it with just 11 grenades? We'll keep that for safety for getting back. Because <laughs> I didn't clear out all the nests up here. And we're going to have to skirt by this lake here. So. Let's just do a full run back and get some. Yes, I could go take on that group anyway, but I don't really want to. Not with only minimal number of grenades right now. Five and still making the other six. We will just avoid the conflict. 
Eventually, we will have to clear them out. Over here. And then, yeah, the train's going to have to come up here and then back down. So, eventually, I probably want to get rid of these guys, too. I don't need it for the stone. We have plenty of stone right there. Stone doesn't get used nearly as much as copper and iron and coal. It's the least important. Even though in the beginning of the game, you need stone a lot. That's how you make your stone furnaces. Alright, well at least we found the copper. We didn't have to go endlessly far west and then decide, oh, that's no good. You gotta go search the east side now. The east side, we don't even have a wall up. I don't think we've even been attacked from the east. The nearest colony must be a long ways away. There we go. And where is the train? The train is there. It's not telling me how much. Oh, there it is. It is telling me. There's a couple thousand iron in each of them, so I'm not going to run into anything. Breaks. Perfectly done. Alright, resupply on rockets and grenades. No. Well, we'll resupply on rockets anyway. Hopefully they've been doing a good job while we've been away. And they have. Alright, that's... 609 rockets. All ready and waiting for us. Uh, miners are doing nothing. Miners are doing nothing. Don't be doing nothing. Do something. Do something or go away. Alright, he chose to go away. out on copper as we speak. We have to get that extra copper established. You know, things did get thin here, but yeah. So what you got for me? Is it 100? Oh, you have nothing resupplying you. There you go. Pull that up, please. I just have to grab them in line. I don't need the red ammo now. So please don't grab the red ammo. Thank you. 319 grenades. That'll have to do. I think I am going to make this one a, a shorter episode this time and we will get back out there to uh, go clear out the rest of uh, this definitely and that's just that group that was massing but we can't see it because we're not under radar and we'll probably have to get rid of this too I mean we look at all that stuff that we have cleared out though I mean they were they were on the other side of that cliff and pretty much harassing our wall all the time. I still did a little bit, but all of this is gone. All this is gone. And we got a little bit over here. And we found our copper. So it has been a successful episode, especially this one. Um, last one, not as successful, but at least we got started on it. And I'm really happy that we have the power armor um, with the additional power generation. The, portable fusion reactor there so um, good progress this time and I'll see you next time enjoy bye